with the Masters. Hey, Sally, good job, bud. Thank you. Well, it is a pleasure to get a break from time to time. We are into the main events, race number seven, midway through the second half of today's program. The finals and all the mains for the local amateur racers. Good bunch of them at that. And those odysseys, Gary Glasser up here telling a little bit about the flat track. And that is a true fact. They really tear up equipment. And those guys have got a ton of money and a lot of preparations and some neat sponsors behind them. Uh, our compliments to them, because the Odyssey boys put on a fun, fun show. And to a lot of them, it's a uh, cost expense that numbers a lot of hundreds of dollars to keep those things running and together. So thanks, guys. Fun show. There's more Odyssey still in the program, though. Mark McGee leads the field of over the hill gang racers in this one. McGee is number 628. But he's not the leader. Number 94 is Mike Worthington out of Raymond, Washington. Worthington won the heat qualifier. And he comes up one and two in the first lap around. The guy behind him with the beard. He's got a youngest going, hey, where's the track? <laughs> Can you do that? Can you miss the finish line jump? Scotty Younger, the operations manager at Sierra Motorcycle, Motocross Accessories Division in the Northwest. He rides the Tri-Z Yamaha, one of only two in this race. His teammate quite a ways back is Phil Herman, number 488. And behind Herman, looking a little tired, is the Tiger Racer, Dean Frankenhauser from Kent, Washington, number 59. Track's getting a little tougher, too. We just ground down to the bedrock. In many places, we'll probably water it all perhaps one more time as the day goes on. Good field of masters. Number 54 is uh, Dwayne Gherkin from Aurora, Colorado. Now, he was third on his Honda in the first moto early in the program. Gary Loomis out of Kent, Washington. He had some problems. It looks like he scored a DNF. And Dave Sutton Jr. did well in the first round, as did Mark McCalla. <laughs> and the master, Mark McGee, was fifth. First round out. Second lap, number two moto, and it's a main event. Mike Worthington from Raymond, Washington leads. Only yards ahead of uh, Scotty Youngren from Edmonds. Honda leads the Yamaha, leads the Honda. Oh, hey, there's Mark McGee up into the number three spot. McGee wearing blue in the red hunt. He's lost his number plate. Dave Markham moves up ahead of McGee, and the fifth place position rider on the lap is Dwayne Gherkin from Aurora, Colorado. Number six, the Takati Amonti five. Dean Frankenhauser is number seven. Mark McCalla, number eight. And number nine, nine racers still running in the second moto. Phil Herman, the other Yamaha racer out of uh, Edmonds, Washington. Herman, number 488. Round and round we go. Hey, you want to get real hip to ATV racing, whether it's the Odysseys or the three and four wheelers. You should, and uh, he'll really appreciate this since he's here today, the uh, publishing editor of uh, Dirt Wheels and it's the other off-road magazine that's published at the same company. Kevin Sorosis, one of the uh, marketing editors, managing editors of Dirt, Bike, or, uh, Dirt Wheels magazine here today racing with us. And, uh, You'll find those things at uh, favorite stores all over the Northwest, usually at the 7-Eleven stands, magazine stands. <laughs> yeah, pick one up, Dirt Wheels Magazine. So we get a lot of our uh, in-depth and race prep information. Good technical write-up, some good shootouts. This is a good shootout here, too. The Masters, you've got to be 35 and alive to run this class of competition. 
somebody goes down hard right in front of your grandstand seat. It is either Dave Markham or maybe Dwayne Gherkin. I can see a four. I can't see a 54 and 84 there for sure. I'm not going to call it until we can see exactly which racer that is. You can see it better than we can from here. And on goes our leader, Mike Worthington. Worthington leads Scotty Youngren and Mark McGee. We'll keep an eye on Steve Inglesfield, the Coyote starter with the red flag in hand. He will call it if it needs to be called. The injured rider in awful not a good place. I would say they might put a red candle on it, so we'll take a good look here, and he sure does. Coyote starter, Steve Inglesfield, the word from the referees and promoter Doug Richards is we'll put a hold down on it. Well, they tend to, the injured rider. And I can't, I still can't see if it was 84, 54. We see some other numbers. Here. Number 628. McGee rides a Rainier Honda, by the way. Masters, is that a nice way of saying old? Well, you got to be 35 and alive to run this class competition. <laughs> 35 and alive and crazy, huh? I used to call them the Gatorade, the Jared Dahl for lunch bunch. Well, let's put it this way. I would not want to ride with them at all. They are a great bunch of riders up here in the Northwest, the Masters. Years ago in local motocross, the uh, Washington Old Timers Association, who in fact they put on their national down in California every year. Uh, with special honors and guests being Dick Mann. But they were in the prime motocross years, 1977 and 78. If this were motocross, it'd be easy to run 70, 85 riders that were members of the Washington Old Timers Motocross Association. Well, actually what we're looking at out here is uh, a lot of years of experience. They were young, they ran into the sports, and I imagine most of these uh, riders have uh, come from the uh, motocross era. And again, a lot of years of experience out there, so they really know what they're doing, the Masters. Well, just a couple of them. These are, for the most part, a lot of new blood. I would say uh, Scotty Youngren raced motocross. Monty Fye did, I think McCalla did, but uh, the rest of them, I think they're ATV riders. They came from recreational riding to become uh, weekend racers. Doing a heck of a job on this great track here at Thurston Off-Road Park. This and much, much more coming your way. AATVA, sponsored by Honda. Start didn't shake him too bad for Mike Worthington. Won the first heat, was leading when we pulled the red flag on that one earlier for the courtesy of Dwayne Garrick and the injured rider who was down there on that straightaway. Worthington comes back and leads again. Mike Worthington from Raymond, Washington. Home of the Warehouser Mill Strike. Worthington leads the Tri-Z as Scotty Youngren. Youngren's been in the racing business a long time, and third on the lap is Mark McGee from Tacoma. Mild-mannered, mischievous Mark McGee. What a nice guy. He has been truly one of the big supporters of Coyote Racing in the past few years. From uh, the beginning of the ATV races, the early promotions, pay dirt 85, and week after week in the Oakwood arenas and the Monroe races. 
and at the Rainier Flat Track on Saturday nights. Tough competitor. McGee's best at the moment. He is third behind the Yamaha, Scott Youngren, and leader Mike Worthington from Raymond. the quickest of them all six speeds 246 cc motor liquid cooled single cylinder and two stroke the 250r dirt wheels magazine called it the finest all around atv but they said if you were going racing that you might want to buy a kxt integrated power valve ducati this is what they said about the yamaha the tri-z they says well it's got a good overall power spread it's strong and hard right off of the bottom end and has a nice, healthy mid-range. It is probably, and we're speaking of the Yamaha, the easiest machine for a novice or a beginner rider to get into the sport of racing. Dean, Dean Frankenhauser, now you look there at the blue and white machine, the exhaust and the Rotax Can-Am motored machine has broken loose and is hanging pretty low the uh, rear fiberglass fenders. Fiberglass or plastic. Yeah, Frankenhauser's answer silencer is about to become scrap metal. The tune of about $49, $59.95, then things aren't cheap. If you're going trail riding anywhere but inside this track right here, you've got to have one around this area. If you look up on that hill up there, Capitol Forest and the Black Hills here, there are thousands of trails hundreds and hundreds of miles, and the best way to do it, you gotta have an off-road vehicle sticker and an approved U.S. Forestry Spark Arrester. It's a good, safe riding gear, and uh, just a little bit of good common courtesy to ride in the area around here. Open seven days a week. The off-road vehicle park here at Thurston County. We're doing some serious racing. We got a lap left to go. The white flag signals one lap to go. The Masters main event. Mike Worthington leads. Scott Youngren from Edmonds, the Yamaha rider in second place. First set and into the second of the triple jumps. Mark McGee in the blue, wearing blue on the red Honda from Rainier Honda in Tacoma. McGee is running third, the fourth place position rider from Olympia, also on an ATC 250R. Dave Markham, number 84. Markham is fourth. Dean Frankenhauser. The Tiger ATV from Tiger Industries out of Minnesota. It is powered by an indestructible liquid-cooled Rotax Can-Am motor. It too, like the Kawasaki, features a five-speed gearbox. Stanley Fai is next. Then comes Phil Herman. And Kawasaki racer Mark McCalla, number 22. But Cala riding an 85 KXT 250. 84s at gold wheels. You don't see a lot of them. There's one down in front of your grandstand seats. It's an 84 uh, Ducati chassis with a KX 125 motor in it. Belongs to Marty Betchards, and it is race ready. Marty's dad owns the ATV Plus here in the Northwest for a couple years. So that one's got some trick equipment on it. You can buy it for about 1,500 bucks. Mike Worthington from Raymond, Washington wins the first heat, leads the restart, wins the main event. Mike Worthington from Raymond, Washington. Honda wins the Masters main. He's the operations manager. Yamaha in its second. Mark McGee's Honda.